Hi everyone, today we present you with our weekly technical insights on Civil 3D. If you have watched the previous week weekly technical insight video on Civil 3D, I suggest you watch it before continuing to it. Uh, Capricorn Technology is a venture company and partner of choice for AC industry. Is a you know, one of the biggest platinum partner of Autodex and Bentley along with authorized training centers. We have 300 plus dedicated team member with client and over 20,000 in AC and associate industries. Let me introduce myself. My name is Shubham Bani, Solutions Specialist Civil 3D at Capricorn Technologies, New Delhi. We'll present you with our weekly technical insights. It can be quite beneficial to see the where proposed design process in 3D elements in profile view. In this past, it difficult to display and annotate the profile crossover. Linear crossing can be easily seen in the profile perspective. Markers and labels are used to represent each of crossings. Now that in Civil 3D is being used is dynamically seeing the labeling, seeing and labeling crossing parts within a profile view is significantly simpler. We'll look at a few workflows that makes use to uh, new capability in this session. Insights will help us to how to add a cross profile elevation to design center line profile and how to add a cross labels, add alignments and adding a cross elevation and it helps to how to create a custom marker style and edit and assigning to profile. So let's start. So I have a surface now created a one alignment for crossing a profile. So we can do that. So one more alignment we create for crossing. So now created a profile for alignment. And for second alignment, also prepare a surface profile. So we can change the alignment level. Okay. So let's create a profile for alignment. So we can create a alignment for that. And also for second alignment, crossing that alignment and create for one more alignment for. So let's do the crossing line, crossing elevation and point in our existing main center line profile. So here it is the option for it. 
so here it is the option print profile view go to profile view here is the option add crossing to profile view so firstly you have to select the object to add the profile view we can select select that alignment we can object can add this object line to the main existing uh, profile view so select the profile you want to cross the main profile i will select that profile second alignment click on enter here it is select a second profile view i will select that view one here it is the add crossing one more window appears it is the alignment and the surface lines and object we want to annotate here so will be the marker style here it is indian basic and crossing label is uh, indian name elevation station we can also the change the property from here the cross you can also import autocad point marker from here also so we can use use of that we can do that and here it is the size for the marker we'll it is okay it is the crossing level style you can also select the crossing alignment description and alignment name and elevation station i will uh, consider a uh, ind name elevation station click on ok here it is click on ok so the marker style successfully display here the elevation for that here it is the main plan view the main alignment is crossing at the 080 channel and one more is uh, main alignment crossing from 1 plus uh, 120 something one around 130 something so let's check the elevation that here it is similar line crossing that elevations and compare the elevation for that here the elevation point so we can <clears throat> spot the elevation point from main uh, elem, uh, main profile by using this profile tool and crossing to profile view that's it i hope you guys had insightful session do subscribe to our youtube channel for all updates we will be delighted to hear from you do reach out to us for any suggestions query or topic would want to be discussed see you next week thanks and take care